when you guys, you guys are gonna have your block instead of this, you wanna try to get it in like a rectangular form. Cause what we're gonna do first is the side of the mug. So we want it long and thin. So you don't want it like a square piece. Does that make sense? So try to cut it and maybe manipulate it a little bit. Maddie wants to go to jail. I like to slam it down a little bit. Wow. Just And you'll want it orange, orange or green. And then make sure you have a large enough rolling pin that it hits. We'll decide the width later here. I like the way it gets a nice even. Take this just like we do with the plates. <laughs> try to smooth that out so you can see there's an indent in there. I'm gonna try to smooth that out the best I can. And maybe use that for the inside. It looks like it's not real even. I'm just gonna mist it down a little bit. Try to get that as even as possible. Mine has dents. Don't. I'm not gonna stop for that, but you guys don't want these dents, okay? Then, you're gonna take a ruler. Make sure you are using your ceramic ruler, not a metal ruler. And we want a straight line. Yeah, you are. Going straight up and down. And we're gonna go off the top too. We're gonna to cut, and we want, try to make it somewhat 90 degrees. Okay, then you need to either measure, or you can cut out a stencil. Uh, a great way to do something is to maybe cut out and see what size you want. So like you could take a piece of paper and go, okay, this is the size of cup I want. I want it wider. Okay, it depends on the piece of paper. So I'd cut, so we'll say this is our stencil. And then I'm gonna use the ruler. Make sure I get a sharp edge and make sure that your knife is straight up and down. Make sure this top is straight because it wasn't. And you actually want to go a little bit longer. Except for get it straight. Okay. You want to use a cylinder method. You want to take a cylinder and you want to take a piece of paper. And we're going to tape this on, but not tight. Okay, not tight. We want this to come out. So somewhat tight, but not super, super tight. And you do want it to go all the way around. So I'm just gonna take a piece of masking tape and take this. On. And then you can use this to kind of wrap it around. Hopefully, which I did not, I did not do it long enough. Okay, so you wanna make sure that yours gets long enough, that it goes around the whole circle. So mine was cut short, so I'd have to use a shorter. So we could take the water bottle, do it around the water bottle. That really quick. And we could wrap it around there that way. Okay, then there's a couple different things you can do. You can take this and keep it the way it is, and you want to cut it at an angle. Okay, so we want a beveled edge. So see that mark right there? See how it's cut at an angle? So I'm not cutting straight, I'm cutting at an angle, and I've got it overlapped. So notice where I have it overlapped. Okay, we're gonna cut this at an angle. We're gonna try to keep it at that angle going all the way through. All right, so this is sliced this way and this is sliced this way. And then we can kind of put those two together. We may have to go a little bit more. So I'm gonna go a little, cut a little bit more. Be very careful when you do this. All right, 
and we can just kind of pull that together, but we still have to score and slip. So we're going to score, you can use whatever to score. I'm going to score this angled. All right. Then we'll take the slip, and this slip is really dried out, so we're going to pretend it's really thin. All right, so put my slip on there. I'm going to keep my form. All right, and then we're going to kind of pull this together, all right, to make that one piece. All right, at this point, you'll want to try to smooth this out the best you can. So there's a couple different ways you can do that. I'll show you here in a minute. Uh, one way is to take your ribs. And I know it sounds weird, but you'd actually take the serrated ed edge and kind of rough it up first. What that does is it makes it all kind of even. Then take the rubber or the metal, okay? And then use the kind of the side of that. I like to go at an angle. And that will smooth that out. So then we can use this to smooth it out. Okay, so you can do that. Then you want to make the bottom of your Area. And then notice this slips right out, but it keeps the form. Next, we're going to set this to the side and we're going to make the bottom. So we're going to make sure that we roll out a piece that's wider than that. So again, we're going to use our dowel rods. Pull this out, make sure it's wide enough. So I'm going to turn it both ways. Make sure that it covers which it does and you actually want a little bit of excess okay so i'm going to draw a really quick line kind of around the edge and my bottom is not completely circular which is okay for now all right and then i'm going to score i like using the serrated rib for this so i'm going to score this score the bottom Notice how that is not completely circular, so we're going to have to manipulate that a little bit. Okay, because you want your cup pretty circular. Then we'll use the slip. Again, this is all dried out, so pretend there's slip down in there. Okay, so use the slip, put it on generously, push this down and push it down in there. All right, now after you do that, you're going to want to cut, but you want to leave a little bit of excess. Okay, so I'm going to cut, but not super close, but I'm going to leave just a tiny bit of extra on the outside edge. You'll know why here in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to cut this off. Not a lot, just a little bit of extra, because we're going to use that to help weld our seam, which we'll talk about here in a minute. All right, so we're going to pull this up. And then you're going to take this excess clay and pull it up into this. Okay, so after you pull this up, then pull this up really quick. You'll take a lot more time than what I'm doing. Make sure it's all smoothed out. Then you can kind of take it on its side and kind of roll it. And that'll help kind of seal that down. So right here, you can tell that's where I didn't pull it up. So make sure you pull all the way up and then try to get that bottom round, okay? Then you're gonna to wanna to take this paper out. So if need be, you may have to tighten it a little bit to pull it out. Beautiful, look at that beautiful. All right, after you do that, I tap it a little bit and then try to pull it up a little bit more. Then we've got to put a weld in that inside. So there's a seam in there. Okay. So we got to put a weld in there. So we're going to take, we're going to make a small coil. And you probably are going to have to use a tool for this because your hands may not fit down in there. And it doesn't, you don't want this super fat. We're going to put this in there. I would use like this or this, something that's kind of rounded. And then I'm just going to smash that into 
I need to get something different. I like this one better. So I'm gonna smash it into that seam and try to smooth that out the best I can. And you guys can't see that, but you want that all in that seam, okay? Mm -hmm. So whatever tool you use, I'll try to make some. Sometimes even just the end of these work really well because you can kind of push it in there. Uh, you may be able, if you can fit your hands down in there. So if you make a wider cup, and I don't care how wide it is, just don't go really dinky, all right? At least probably about this size. And I don't care how tall, again, just not super dinky. So clean that up the best you can. If you remember from the tips, you wanna make sure that your edges are not super, super sharp here. And kind of go around there and then clean that up the best you can. To the side, all right? Let it dry out a little bit. Are you starting back up again? Are you getting sneeze? Okay, I'm gonna show you my way for doing a handle. You can do it a couple different ways. Easiest way is to do kind of like we did with the thin part. Push this down. Get a thin piece of clay. You can use either one of your little rollers here. You probably want to go a little bit longer than that, but make sure all your excess clay is off. And I would use probably the width ruler. Remember, you want your handle to be comfortable to fit. edges a little bit and then if you want one that you know how the handles kind of look like they've got an end in it you take your thumb and your finger kind of push that down this is kind of wide but then you can also kind of I don't think this is long enough either I'd probably do this a little skinnier than what it is and then you want to create, usually they say like an ear shape works best. So figure out about how you want your handle. Again, I would do that thinner if it were me. And then set that to the side and let it get a little bit leather hard at the shape that you want it, okay? Then you can go back and work on this. This is when you start incising surface decorations, you know, whatever surface decorations you want. Make sense? Don't forget to put your name and scrape your name on the bottom uh, or initials on there and then work one cup at a time. So don't do this one, then go work on another one, and then do your surface decorations unless you're letting things dry out. I'd work on one first. 